morning guys it is now peak week we're going into the week prior to my show so basically what peak week means is that you peak your body so that you reduce the inflammation down a little bit have a bit more rest and peak yourself into well not myself obviously Meg's going to be peaking me so last week I didn't film too much, um, well I didn't film anything at all to be honest in terms of YouTube just because I had a little bit of a wobble mentally, it's been quite a tough week just sort of digging for more condition before peak weeks so that last final couple of weeks really really difficult mentally and physically so I just didn't pick up the camera and record anything so there's nothing really to record it's just the day in day out kind of stuff to complete off so this morning so actually it was the normal you know normal check-ins um i didn't have cardio yesterday so sunday um sunday the um, 10th of september so we took cardio out cardio <laughs> cardio out yesterday um and steps reduced to twelve thousand. and then obviously into today um it's exactly the same protocol so i've actually had a um whatsapp call with meg this morning um so i done my check-in as normal and then we actually called i had a call so we could speak through things just get my head back into a good place um just making sure that it's screwed back on again and we just continue to enjoy the rest of this week because it's really difficult like work you know grinding for 22 weeks and then just stopping it all um, it's quite mentally challenging having to chill uh, and I know a lot of people will be like what the hell like you know chilling is probably what you want to do yes and no because you've been absolutely on it for such a long time bearing in mind I started prep on the 17th of April so it's been a very long time of me just day in day out working the socks off and then having to be told you know reduce everything down chill out um it's quite mentally challenging so this morning i had a call with meg um which was really nice to just speak over things in you know in person more so than just like voice notes and um, messages and then i've actually just met my friend at the gym eden who's gone through some posing with me um she is a posing coach um, i will leave her little Instagram here um, she's a brilliant posing coach as well but also a very very good friend of mine bought me some flowers um, happy peak week flowers and then also just went over some things for me just to make sure that I feel confident enough going into my first show so that's what I've been doing this morning I've actually just made my second cup of coffee so it is now approaching 1 p.m. I don't know where the time's going so I just made an iced coffee which is basically just blended um, normal coffee with ice um, like sweeteners being removed this week, no Coke Zeros um, and no Monsters all of last week and into this week. So that's also been quite hard as well. I know it sounds pathetic, but it's kind of like that thing that you look forward to, like that sweet treat. So having that removed last week as well was quite um, challenging. Um, but yeah, in terms of everything else, everything's moving in the right way. Weight's dropped loads, how it should be, condition is there supposedly it's really difficult to tell yourself because you're so hard on yourself so you know I'm happy if Meg's happy and everybody else is saying that I'm looking in a good place so that's all I can do and everything else is out of my control so I'm just going to chill this week what I'm going to do is film bits and bobs throughout each day of this week and then show day is Sunday so I'm just going to do a separate video for show day itself just so that I'm not having such a long video so we'll do peak week video this week today all i've got to do is my client check-ins tomorrow i've got a few pt clients wednesday i'm going to get like a bit of a glow up so eyelashes again eyebrows nails toes that kind of stuff thursday is a little bit of a chill day again and then some pt clients in the evening and then friday is completely free i've just got to shave my whole body um get my food ready for the weekend which i'll show you um and then i have like a sport well not a sports massage but like a chilled massage just to flush out everything um so yeah nothing's changed in terms of food food is still the same at the moment just the cardio has been removed and steps reduced training is devolume this week which is basically one working set which was really nice training legs today um it's not as fatiguing so when the food starts to increase up or i get an increase in food i'll show you what um i get so yeah quite an exciting week just to chill out 
relax my mind, relax my body, um, and just make sure that I'm ready and happy to go into show day. So quite an exciting week. Um, thank you again for clicking onto this video, um, and hopefully you enjoy my little show day vlogs. Good afternoon, it's now Friday, <sighs> I'm so tired, Tuesday the 12th of September, um, it is approaching half past 12, um, I've had a really chilled morning this morning because I've had no PT clients, um, which has actually been quite nice just to chill out a little bit, so I did some studying instead, done some washing and I've just gone out for a half an hour walk, so my check in this morning was, May's really happy, nothing to change, the only thing that she has changed is reduce my steps down again to 10k rather than 12k for today, but food is still remaining the same. I'm assuming that we'll probably start carving up maybe tomorrow, because um, that's sort of how it ran last year as well, but we'll just see. I'm not like trying to get too excited about it, so just focus on what I've got to do for today. Um, so yeah, all I've got this afternoon is a client at half past two and a client at half past three, and then just a really chill day for today. So that is all to update you for today. Um, and then obviously I'll take you through tomorrow where I get my lashes done because they are looking pretty sparse. Eyebrows, nails, etc. So yeah, I will show you all of that stuff and obviously update you on check-in tomorrow as well. Good morning guys, or wherever you are in the world. Um, it's now Wednesday the 13th of September and I have a really exciting day today. So I'm just getting some bits sorted because I'm just going to off to, I'm going off to go and train now um, before all of my appointments this morning. So I'm going to train pull, a deload pull session. Then I have all of my appointments, eyelashes, eyebrows, nails, etc. So I just need to make sure that I've got my food with me for the day because I will be out majority of the day. So my appointments start from 11 and I probably won't be home till about 6 p.m. So I'm just making my pre and post workout, which is the same today. I have actually got a little bit of increase in foods in some of my meals. So what I'll do is I'll show you what I'm having. So in meal um, five today, um, I basically just had chicken and broccoli or chicken and beans. Hang on, let me. So yeah, meal five was 100 grams of chicken and 75 grams of broccoli. To that meal, I've had two rice cakes added and 20 grams of dark chocolate. And then my last meal is 200 grams of yogurt, 15 grams of whey, 10 grams of dark chocolate and 50 grams of berries. To that meal, she wants to me to increase my dark chocolate to 20 grams, my berries to 100 grams and add two rice cakes to that as well. So that will be nice for today, a little bit of a carb up. I will insert my check-in photos here for you so you can see how I'm looking. Still very flat, like quite depleted. Um, obviously that is expected. Um, so yeah, those little bits of carbs increase today hopefully will just give me a little bit more of like a pop in my body and just give it a little bit, um, make it a bit more alive. But in terms of how the week's going so far, um, obviously fatigue has started to drop off quite a lot with like reduced cardio and steps. So I'm feeling quite good. Um, my body is looking a little bit better from it as well. So not so worked. So yeah, I've got an exciting day today. I will take you through as much as I can um, and I'll just keep you updated throughout the rest of the week.
just made up a couple of meals for later. So my post-workout, which is 40 grams of cream of rice, 30 grams of whey into like a little paste, 10 grams of dark chocolate, which I grate over the top. And then the meal for later on in between my eyelashes and nails, um, which I'll eat at my friend's house because she does my nails, um, which is 100 grams of chicken and 75 grams of green beans. And then with those two extra rice cakes, which I'll take with me and then 20 grams of chocolate, which I'll take with me in my meal prep bag as well. So this is my pre-workout. We've got 40 grams of oats. Um, I do 25 grams of whey because I have five grams of whey, um, vanilla whey whisk into my coffee this morning and then 10 grams of dark chocolate. So I'm gonna eat this, get ready, like clean my teeth, go to the gym and then head off to my eyelash appointment. Hey guys, right. I appreciate, <laughs> I always start the next clip. Hey guys. Um, but anyway, I've just finished training and I've just pulled up and parked to get lashes and eyebrows. Um, and I'm actually getting something else done as well, but I'll show you after, because it's quite exciting. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna eat my cream of rice, so eat this and then go and get glammed up a little bit. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Beautiful. Beautiful funny eyes. So much girl. Hey Sam. Oh my I look cross eyed then. <laughs> We're back. I um yeah. <laughs> so had my lashes done. Um, my eyebrows laminated and I have a crystal tooth. <laughs> so yeah, we're all glammed up. I'm just off to my friend who does my nails now to get my nails and my toenails. Um, and then I'm going to have a, another meal um, before she does that. So I'll show you what that is. So meal three, 100 grams of chicken. 75 grams of green beans were made earlier. Then I get two rice cakes and 20 grams of dark chocolate for this meal. And here's my little chicken. Right, I have just got home. It is now half past five. Um, I still have three meals to eat, so I need to get those in. So what I'm gonna do is have my egg meal now, go for a little walk, cause I do need some steps. I'm probably on about 5,000 at the moment. Need to get around 10 today. Um, and then have another meal when I get home, which is just literally chicken and broccoli. And then my last meal before bed is the one where I have a little bit more dark chocolate. So my yogurt meal with 10 more grams of dark chocolate and an extra two rice cakes. So looking forward to that. And then I will update you tomorrow if anything changes, um, as there's nothing really more to go through today. But I've had a lovely day today, um, being pampered, which has been really nice just to sit and chill and not think about anything. So yeah, nice day today and I will update you over the next two. Hello, it is now Thursday, the 14th of September. Um, so yesterday was quite nice having like a little bit of extra, all right, kissery. Um, yeah, yesterday was nice having some few extra bits. So I've had my check-in this morning. Um, Meg's happy with how I'm looking, like condition and stuff, which is good. Um, and all she said is, so it's a rest day today, quite low foods today, but the only difference is in my last meal again. So that yogurt meal, I've got an extra 10 grams of dark chocolate again. Um, my berries are normally 50 grams and she said to have 100 grams and then a one extra rice cake to that meal so other than that all meals are exactly the same so I've just got like another chill day today I've got my client check-ins my online client check-ins to do um, and other than that I'm just going to do some work in terms of like business side of stuff um do some study and just keep myself relaxed basically so I will update you tomorrow Friday um, and we will be, so we are 
four days out, three days out now. Um, so yeah, tomorrow will be two days out. And then yeah, I will just show you up till tomorrow. Um, and then from Saturday and Sunday, I'll do it as like show day vlogs. So yeah, that's exciting. So I'll catch you tomorrow if there's any changes or I'll just give you a little update on tomorrow's shenanigans. Um, and then obviously over the weekend. please excuse my morning face um but it is now friday um what you saw then is my electrolyte drink so um i just put it in the fridge the night before basically it's just like one scoop of electrolytes um because i was having it in my drink when i was doing cardio in the morning so i like to just keep that like as a routine um obviously i'm not doing cardio anymore but i still have it first thing um and then just sit with a coffee as well so i'm just gonna sit for a moment it's just gone um well it's, it's 7 a.m so i've been up already um i've already done my check-in for meg just sent that off to her i'm gonna go food shopping this morning because i need to get some of my normal stuff but i also need to get some stuff for the weekend so she's told me to get a couple of bits that i didn't get last year so that's quite exciting. So yeah, I'm just going to pop and get some bits and bobs from Asda this morning. So I'll take you along with me there as well. And then once I get my feedback back from Meg, I'll tell you um, what she says or like if she's changing anything today. Um, my weight's dropped again this morning, even though we had a little bit of extra food. So it went like, a t so I was 53. 53.8 kilos two days ago then yesterday after the reef like after the increase in carbs it went up to um 54 again and now it's back down to 53.8 this morning um i think let me double check that yeah i was right it just 53 kilos just sounds really light <laughs> but yeah that's what i am now um so yeah, it's gone down a little bit, even though we had a bit of an increase in food. So I don't really know what that means. So we'll see what she says today. Um, it is a training day today. I've got my last push session. Um, I doubt I will take you through that today, to be honest, because I don't know. I'll see how I feel later. Um, but yeah, and then I have a massage later on as well. So a nice chill day today. I need to shave my whole body later um, and then I will also show you um, like the things I've packed in my bag as well so like for show day bag and um, bits and bobs that I'm taking with me so yeah I will just take you through today little bits um, and I'll catch you in a bit not being funny it's actually freezing today <sighs> my car doesn't say what the temperature is yet but it's cold today! I'm freezing! I'm so cold that my fingers are, are white. <laughs> so weird. We are back from Asda. So, we have... I'll show you what we've got. So... Obviously, the essentials, snacker jacks. Pop those over there. I just got extra of these because they're in um, some of my rest day meals, so I just topped up on those. Then uh, we have a dark chocolate, again, just because it gets increased quite a lot over the weekend as well. Nani's, um, I had these last year, I had like 50 grams of banana in the morning, so I just got some bananas ready. Um, we have some yogurt. Again, like some of this is just a like top up of my normal food shop. Um, and then eggs and chicken. So just normal, like I said, normal bits for my normal meal. So for show day and over the weekend, obviously it's like quick carbs. 
um, and quick fats. So I've got the best peanut butter in the whole world and you cannot argue with me because it tastes amazing. I don't know what they put in it because it's just, I don't know, it's just great. Anyone who is on prep or is a bodybuilder will know that this, <laughs> this is the best. Um, and then squirty honey as well because it is easier. Um, and then I just got a little hairspray to put in my show day bag. Um, Meg told me to get raisins. So again, like just a quick, a quick carbohydrate source that's easy to digest. So I've got some raisins. I didn't actually have those last year, but um, yeah. And then she also told me to get some Haribo. So I got, I didn't really know which one she wanted me to get. So I got the big pack um, and then the little packets. So I'm covered. Um, to be honest, I'll probably just have a couple um, post show anyway. Um, like in between after show you basically don't really eat a lot on show day so when show when your competition's finished and you're come you come off stage you're so hungry so it's just nice to have something like little to eat hence why i've got some of these oh uh, i haven't tried the oreo ones yet so i asked meg if i could get a couple of these um just to have in my show day bag just to have like when I come off of stage, so that's exciting. Um, and then not so exciting, my normal veg. So yeah, that is my food shop. Um, I'm just gonna make my first meal. I've had my feedback from Meg actually. She has told me, I just need to re-listen to the voice note and then I'll tell you what she's told me to do today. Right, so today's changes is, um, Normally my pre-workout oats is 40 grams, that's 50 grams today. Um, and then my post-workout is 40 grams of cream of rice, that's 50 grams today. Then the last meal with my yogurt meal, um, an extra 10 grams of dark chocolate again, and add a rice cake into that meal as well. So they are the changes for today. Um, so yeah, what I'm gonna do now is have meal one, um and then all pre-workout meal I need to just look at the time what times i've got today um go to the gym do my push session then do a little bit of posing practice then i have my massage at quarter past one i need to sort out my bag a little bit as well what i might do is do that like this morning um, and then it's done um and i'll show you what um what I'm ha like what's in my bag and stuff and what I'm putting in my like show day bag and my like weekend away bag um and then yeah we will just update as we go that's the only update really to today anyway so I'll probably end the video after I've shown you my bag um and then we'll go from there so here are my um bags for the weekend so I've got my normal suitcase which I will put like all of my usual like holiday away bits in um and then i like to take a little suitcase with me um on show day because it basically avoids me having like a rucksack or rucksack 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 <laughs> backpack whatever you say whatever you call it um yeah so it basically avoids me having anything on my shoulders so it doesn't ruin my tan so we have my bag so these bits won't be going in there so in here i have my lovely hair there so i have a black bed sheet and um black like pillowcases and then my black blanket just in case i get a bit chilly because i'm cold now the weather has gone freezing um and then all i have here is like black clothing um to wear for the tan after the tan so i've got a couple of jumpers and stuff and i also have a outfit to wear like after i come off of stage as well which i've tried to keep mainly black so all of that stuff will be going in this one here and then my show day one so actually all of this stuff will pretty much go in there anyway so i've got a ponytail which i did last year and i prefer to have my hair like that um and then in my show day bag i will have my bikini which is actually currently hung up at the moment so i'm not going to show you that just yet then in here we've got some pump up bands 
and I have my dumbbells here as well to do a pump up with um, and then my shoes will go in here as well so like my sparkly heels within this bag I don't actually know what's in here it's just like little bits and bobs from last year but I have earplugs because Joe snores, so there we're going in there. Then I have my, um, well, this is actually Joe's, so I will give him credit. Um, this is a charging block, which I will need to put on charge now. And I also just need to put my little mini fan on charge too. So this is just in case I get like really hot on show day because it is quite hot when you've got your tan backstage. So there we going in there as well. Um, and then I just have some bits and bobs in here, which I just need to sort out actually. So I've got like a little mirror, um, flip flops, but I will also take like my sliders as well some paracetamol there's a shiwi in here but i didn't actually use it last year so i don't know if i'll be using that again um and then i'm just an overpacker really so there's just bits and bobs in here that i probably don't really need um but yeah obviously i will be putting like other bits in there once i've done with them so like my makeup um all of my hair bits and stuff once i've done that this evening so yeah there is my little bits in my bag um nothing really else to there's some chewing gum and stuff in there it's really old but i just need to like sort through this bag to um make sure there's like nothing in there i don't actually really need so i'm not carrying around stuff i don't need so i'm gonna put these bits on charge now um but yeah they're all my bits for my bags um i'll just take the two suitcases and then what i do as well is obviously i'll take my um cool bag up here i'll put all of like my chicken and stuff in there and then my meals for tomorrow which I'll show you tomorrow anyway. And then all of like the dry bits in this bag here. So I've got like my pump product. Oh, I actually need to put that. So like a little pump product. I need to put that in my um, show day bag because I will need that for show day. And then I'll put a shaker bottle in there as well. So yeah, that is what I take with me. Another little thing I take actually is a little sewing kit. So just in case um, anything breaks or any of the other girls need any help with anything. So it's just a good idea to take something like this with you. So I'm going to end this video here. I hope you enjoyed watching my majority of my peak week and I will catch you tomorrow where we will be getting everything sorted to start traveling to the Airbnb tomorrow. So all very exciting now. Um, it's just this week's dragged so bad. Um, peak week. It tends to be like painted like it's enjoyable, but it's really not because everything gets tapered down. So you don't have as much to do, which sounds great, but or actually you just sit in your own head and you get really bored. Um, and yeah, I'm more hungrier this week. Um, it's, it just drags. It's been a long week this week. Um, so yeah, I am excited now, like the final little couple of days till show day. So I will catch you tomorrow. Thank you very much for watching. And if you haven't already, please like and subscribe.